Oh, actually, blow up Link's bomb. Oh, okay, yeah, that's fair. Interesting. So he's going to come down hard with that down air right there just to land on top of T and uh, try not to take too many hits because he's actually in a slight disadvantage right now. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, T is going to be wanting to approach with the boomerang Ooh. as he's able to convert off of it, even using a quick B reversal right there to really right. mix up Shuton. Yeah, I really like the way he pulled back on it. looked like he was going to retreat and go for a boomerang, but no, came right back in his face, man. Yeah, those distances, that's why the Link's the most dangerous, especially with connecting boomerang because he's going to get an easy forward air follow-up. Mm -hmm. Oh, narrowing right through, oh. getting punished for it. Yeah, man, that Pikmin, a little bit disjointed. Yeah, they definitely act like swords. <laughs> and then up B on stage, going to be able to catch him and take him off for the first stock. Now mm -hmm. Shutan collecting some more Pikmin right now to back up and throw right into T. And that was so smart from Shutan. As soon as he dropped off the platform, he picked up the bomb from T because it, as long as T or Shutan is holding the bomb, T cannot activate it. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. And you saw that forward smash right there. Noticing how low Shuton's shield was, T knew he could get away with either breaking the shield or getting that up smash. Oh, and if he broke the shield, it would have been big damage onto Big Shuton. damage, possibly stock, man, how light mm -hmm. Olimar is. And they were so far t close to the ledge. Yeah, but a good down air and a Ooh. forward air to punish T's uh, offensive recovery. Yeah, and I mean, that's kind of what he gets. You know that Shuton's going to go for that. And oh my goodness, T firing right back with something aggressive. Being up an entire stock right now, only sitting at 0%. So crazy for T to take a lead. It's like this dominating. Yeah, yeah. But you know Shuton's firing right back, 53% already on the board, and trying to get that tech chase to extend a little further, but good on T to roll away. But look at the way that T's actually using the bomb. He put the bomb on the platform, and it's actually forcing Shuton to try and combo towards the right side of the stage. Yes. Because he knows that as soon as if uh, T starts mashing down B, he'll be able to explode and interrupt. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of the situation that we were talking about with uh, Zachary's gyro. He's mm -hmm. putting it in a spot to stage control. Just to have that hazard right there, and you, you have to respect it. Oh, whiffing the S-Match, but not getting punished too hard for it. But that up, or the down throw, and the per the back air from the purple Pikmin, so scary. Woo! Yeah, and he had that yellow on him, just ch chalking up the percentage, man. But trapped right here. Oh, T usually so good at timing his forward tail on the ledge to get the stock. And he has another opportunity. Oh, good the roll. dash dance, catching the roll. Yeah, now my T dropping trapped. the bomb. He got up attacked. I'm so surprised. And no punish from T, but it doesn't matter. There's that B right there to win game two with a two stock. I mean, game one, excuse me. Yeah, hero spins so strong. Such a great kill option in this game. And why shouldn't it be? I mean, yeah. you see how much damage. Do you ever play the Zelda game? Yeah. Well, it's you know been since Ocarina of Time, man. <laughs> <laughs> so you already know like how good that move is. Wait, is, is that move in Ocarina? Yes. Oh, yeah. You, you, you usually use it to like break trees, or not trees, but bushes and things like that. Yeah. Find me some rupees. <laughs> Uh, what is it? Yeah, you can like charge the your magic meter on it, and then get like a little bit of extra fire. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A yeah. little bit of flare on it. Yeah, that's in like I've played like Ocarina of Time, and then the ones on the DS, like uh, Four Swords and stuff like that. Those ones are underrated, by the way. Oh, Four Swords is like low key one of my favorite Zelda it's games. It's so good. And maybe it's less rated because you have to have friends to like truly enjoy uh, it. We don't yeah. all have friends. I, I don't have friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, but <laughs> all right. oh, rip the, he's shaking his head. Yes. No friends. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but here we go in the game two. And hey, look at that. There's the inkling that I was hoping to see. Uh, of course, you know, after the first game going in such a T's favor. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely smart to make the switch right here. And it's probably, you know, something that happens in their locals as well. Uh, you know, getting counterpicked off of his Olimar, which is surprising because people had so much trouble beating it yesterday. Yeah, but it might say it may have just been like, you know, just uh, the non-Japan factor that a lot of people were having trouble with uh, Shuton's Olimar. Now that he's playing someone from his home region, you probably right. have a little bit more trouble. Yeah, they have more experience versus it. That's very fair. Okay. But this is a pretty even game right now. Oh, and punishing the roller on shield with the nair. Actually setting up Shutan for to get comboed. Yeah, and I saw that drag down fair right there. I thought he was going to follow it up with an up smash. Unable to get it, though, and uh, whiffing an up smash. Almost getting punished hard, but just a back air. Oh, rolling back and then landing a back air of his own. Setting up a splat bomb. Ooh, Ooh yeah, you saw the him roll. charging up. That would have been too clean if it actually connected, but good on T to come on aggressive. Okay, full hot back air is like such a good option and a good mix-up for these, these inklings. All right, just a little bit of hopping around each other, trying to go for these safe aerials. Don't want to overcommit to anything because whoever loses the first stock going to be at a little bit, you know, mentally disadvantaged. That's not right. just in game. Oh, Ooh. but the hero spent the last hit, doesn't connect by a directional <laughs> air dodge. So unfortunate for Shuton. Yeah, you know he probably wasn't even trying to do that. He was just trying to get out of the hero spin, but uh, yeah, just an unfortunate spot. And same thing for T, going to get knocked off that side with the aerial. That's right, so advantage. Uh, not really in anyone's favor, still extremely even. Yeah, absolutely. And T was getting a little bit shark there for a second, but he's just going to back away and set up his boomerangs. But a jab on the shield will get you netted into this extended platform aerial combo. Oh, that's right. Putting on a good amount of damage on T, but landing a boomerang, still not being able to follow up. Now we're going to see a bunch of ink get put on T as he gets lost off the stage and an ink bomb set up to boot. 
such an un uh, uncomfortable situation to be in, too. You're covered in ink. You know you're taking more knockback, more damage, and you're in a ledge trap situation. He was able to sneak right by, though. Mm -hmm. Not before taking a little bit more ink. Yeah. <laughs> now that ink's starting to fall off, so it's good for T as a... You know, he, now he's going to be in a little bit better position to actually box Inkling. Right, and ooh, I love that. He only did one hit of it and then backed off, tried to get an aerial right there. Connecting oh, the it, but got the weak hit. Pairing uh, the boomerang. Oh, <laughs> good read on the ledge get up. Forced, you know, seeing that T was going to use the jump option, backed off, and then spaced out a good ass smash. Yeah, very smart by him to catch on to that because he's actually been doing that quite a few times. So mm -hmm. just got to get that download, man. You can get that strong forward smash punish. All right, forward air connecting for T. Are we going to see the Z, the Z drop into bomb? Another one? Oh, I timed the first one so perfectly. Second one, not as much, but the hero spin, perfect timing, of course. That's right. He's taking that stock with style. Now we're going to see up throw another platform extension with a bunch of up airs. But T using his second jump to make it out of, the, out of that juggle. Yeah, my man retreating to the ledge a little bit. Just wants to set up his aerials. Inkling kind of all over him, though. Oh, spaced back airs, of course, being such a good tool for Inkling. Shoot on showing why. Ooh. Almost catching him once again, knowing that he was going to land directly onto the stage. So he charged up that smash attack, but did not time it perfectly. Mm -hmm. Dropping the bomb. And now, so, uh, one thing to know about those bombs, they, they do have a 30-second timer. As you can see, it did just blow up. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, something you need to keep back in mind, especially if someone like T is using it to set up traps. Excuse me? The stage was there, sir. Don't just hit through it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was a bit further than I expected <laughs> it to connect. Okay. <laughs> that reaction. Yeah, look at them. <laughs> He's like, no. He's like, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, literally. <laughs> All right, so game three, and I'm wondering if he's going to opt to stay inkling. I would, you know, assume that he will. Yeah, a uh, very good showing of his inkling. I mean, being able to put take a game off T and take this set to a game three. <laughs> Maybe uh, pick somewhere with thicker ledges. I'm so <laughs> mad about that. That reaction was perfect, though. You just seem like, yeah, hype. Yeah, hype. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. T looks so disgusted. <laughs> yeah, he really did. Like, but how with, dare you? With a smile, but still disgust in there. <laughs> All right, all right. He's still he's laughing it off. He's like, it is what it is. I, I, I got this. Okay, but do we see Link or Young Link? Okay, sticking out with Link. Okay, okay, okay. So game three situation. Maybe a little bit. He doesn't look mentally shook at all. Even when you lose in a situation like that where you feel like you were up, oh, you had a chance, you could have recovered, but you got, you know, hit through the stage. Mm -hmm. It's kind of debilitating, but he doesn't look shook by that at all. So we'll be all right into game three. Oh, and trying to roll around Shuton, but getting caught by the neutral B. Neutral B is uh, something that a, move, a tool that's not as utilized from Inklings as, as really as it should be because it pushes your opponent back and it inks them up at the same time. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to get that throw combo real quick into the two back airs for you. Oh, going so low to try to catch him off the stage. Maybe uh, catch him out of his jump and get that gimp. Yeah, and you can see that both these parties uh, just trading positions. And now we have uh, Shuton just really rushing down at T. Woo! Catch my man out of that. Gonna get the forward air punish, but oh, smart on uh, Shuton to just go over top of all of that. Oh, the up air, but T's gonna catch it with an air. Oh, my man just trying to force him out of his shield. Oh, that <laughs> nair caught the roller. He's Okay, Ooh. enough time to be able to get into his shield, but my goodness, all these smash attacks on shield right now, somehow getting through on the second hit. That's right, and T throwing out the bomb set of trying to catch Shuton, going for ledge, but Shuton directional air dodging back. And now we see both these parties trying to just get something connected. Ooh, and yeah, you see T, he was... Okay, coming in with the fair right there. I was about to say, you see T not going for these jump fadeback boomerangs anymore because he was getting punished for that every time. Mm -hmm. But now he's doing a forward uh, fair or nair to catch him instead. Yeah, he's even spacing it out so that the second hit is really a, a big threat. Yeah, absolutely. A direction... Oh, a spot dodge to so get away from that up smash and a back air is going to land for Shuton. Yeah, he was able to dodge both of those. Maybe Shuton getting a little bit hungry for this kill right now and T playing his nice, slow, patient game that he loves to do. Trapped on the right side right now. Ooh, jumping over Ooh. the offensive back air from Shuton. Oh my god, he landed so slow with that down air. Shuton barely whiffing his grab punish. Okay, Nairing expecting Shuton to really go off stage with mm. a back air is going to connect. Link's so heavy with all that equipment, it's going to keep him in the stage. <laughs> yeah, but he dipped so low that he had to pull the trigger on that up B really early and unfortunately going to put him right above the ledge just far enough for uh, Shuton to get the punish. Yeah, hey, Shuton pulled the trigger on recovering to that ledge pretty quickly. He did lose his second jump. And now we see T setting up boomerangs and looking for his nair just to convert off of a hero spin to punish the uh, whiff dash attack. 
I love that. That's so smart. When you see him on you, it's that, you know, get off me option to stop them from getting anything off of you. Oh, it, it doesn't even matter if you try and cross up or not because it hits both sides. Exactly. And a good uh, fair right there to take out the second stock. Sitting very comfortably at only 24 on his. Mm -hmm. Is he looking really poised to win this set? Now, you can see Shutam really just looking for a back air to, uh, to start his combos. Yeah. But rapid jab's going to put a good amount of ink on T. I do like that, but coming down with the down air, very smart to cover himself aggressively. You know that Shutan's going to come sharking for you, so why not put out that hitbox? Mm -hmm. Ooh, there it but is again, that yeah. down air getting punished. Yeah, he did not space at that time at all. Oh my goodness, got to watch out. For that's how you lost game two, man. Don't forget. Oh, and that's how he's <laughs> trying to lose his second stock. He's going to be able to bomb recovery. Oh, he <laughs> bomb recovery through the blast zone. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he did get back on the stage, to be oh, fair. Yeah. I mean, look at him. But either way. Mission accomplished, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> at least he's in the lead right here. Got this percentage on the board. 60 almost. But the splatter shot going to give him a bunch of ink. Like I said, double, or not double, but more damage and more knockback. That's right. And that's, of course, going to play a big role in just decreasing the, the, the percent gap between these two players. Nair does connect, but Jab not going to reach. Forward air into up throw. Ooh, this combo getting extended by that platform right there. Inkling not far behind it all, and now trapped at the ledge here. The boomerang, so loyal, so trustworthy. I don't know! Oh, the, the boomerang. boomerang! So trusty, so loyal! How can this man connect at the fair? Gonna come through and actually connect. Uh, he's, T is so good at using the second hit of that forward air Like from you Link. said, yeah.